Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, welcome to episode. I think this is four of of walking through Richmond, and we're still walking down the canal. In the last episode, we had finished up the canal or the initial part of it, and we saw some murals and some people stuck in a wall. And oh no, oh no. Why is it shaking so much? I think it's because I laid it on my bag. We're headed up uh, up these stairs. So I was like, oh, let's see where these stairs go. Casey was like, okay. And I was talking to him about uh, my family. You know, a lot of my family likes to do photography or at one point or another. You know, my great grandfather did it my grandfather did it my dad had his digital cameras and stuff and now I'm doing it and I didn't even think about that when I wanted to do this when I started doing this but I'm like yeah it's just been a long line of the men and it's always the men in the family that that want to take pictures and stuff like that it's crazy it's like imbibed in our DNA or something where we just have we just want to do that that's just our drive but of course, I took it a step further. I'm like, let's do it in 3D. Because not a lot of people are doing that nowadays. And I really like the medium. When I was talking to him about things that I had learned, like my, you know, my grandfather had said the best camera that to have is the one that you got on you. My cousin said that the best pictures are the ones that we don't pose for, which is absolutely true. You know, I've taken a lot of pictures uh, and just like at furries, with furries and the pictures I like the most are the ones that no one's posing for because it's just real it's more real that way more organic than just doing a striking a pose which can be fun you know I'm not saying don't pose but you get some magic magic shots some of my favorite pictures are the ones that no one posed for and I think there was some third bit of advice that I learned I don't remember what it was but those two really stuck with me. My cousin had said, I believe. So we walked into this parking garage for some reason. I think, I, I was thinking we'd be able to see the pipe walk from there, but there's too many buildings in the way. And then there's the train trestle. All right, that train bridge, like right underneath that is where the pipe is. You can't really see it. And right across from that, you can see it just a tiny bit is the James River. And I was like, well, there's not much to see here. Casey was having a field day, just taking pictures of everything. So, I should talk about why I, you know, I decided to to do 3D. Well, outside of just a lot of people aren't doing it. So, I, I've been a huge fan of 3D movies for years now. I It started with Journey to the Center of the Earth back in, when did that come out? 2008? 2008, I believe. Uh, I just want to point out that tower right there in front of us it was really cool. Uh, but like 2008, and it just went off from there. You know, I got this 3D animation modeling program quite a while ago, like years ago, like back in 2011, 2012. And I started doing stereoscopic 3D in that. Uh, just kind of testing, playing around with a few things, nothing too serious. But I, it's something that I've always been a fan of. I always go see a movie in 3D if possible. And I got a 3D television finally because I kept telling my family, let's get a 3D TV, get a 3D TV, come on. Because everyone I knew, all my friends, everyone had a 3D TV but me. And I wanted one so bad, man. I was like, come on. Let's just, like everyone else has it. And the thing was, no one else was using theirs. I utilize this TV all the time. I, I use it to do my 3D content, obviously, and watch 3D movies on. And 
finally I was just like, I guess I'm just gonna have to get it myself, and I did. And it was like, it was a TV that it was an LG Cinema 3D TV, which is actually the one that I wanted the passive glasses instead of the active ones, because I can handle the active glasses. It's just you gotta charge them, and and it, it but they give people headaches. It's supposed to be higher quality, but I just prefer the the passive 3D because I can get the uh, I can use real D 3D glasses from the movie theater. Uh, if they get dirty, I'll just get new ones, and it's great. So, I or I, I had a Sony 3D display. Uh, those were like the really cheap two hundred dollar ones that Sony had for the PlayStation Three, and it broke in like a week. Uh, There's a reason they were really cheap. Apparently, they had a high high malfunction rate, which was which made me sad because I was like, oh, it was a little bit over a week, but I was like, come on, man! I was so happy. I'm like, oh man, I got a three D monitor now. This is so cool. Then it broke. Then I ended up getting a 3D gaming monitor, which I was able to watch 3D movies on. And I still have that. And then I ended up getting a 3D TV, the the one that Walmart had for years. Like this box was covered in dust and spider webs, literally. And it was like $600 and I had plenty of money. And I'm like, all right, let's do it, man. Let's do this thing. I want to get this television. And so I've been using that ever since. And I, I use that to be able to watch my content in real D 3D instead of just Anaglyph and YouTube videos, other things as well. And I like it. Uh, if I get an upgrade, I'll probably not see the four. There are 4K TVs that do support 3D, I think, but there's not a lot of them. And the ones that do are like really expensive because 3D is kind of seen as like a hobbyist thing now, obviously. So they're going to charge more because they know that the hobbyists are going to pay that much money for it. But I'm pretty sure you can, after some time, you're going to be able to get like used 3D televisions for pretty cheap. I mean, I, I've seen some on the marketplace that are like bigger than I have. And they were, they're asking for less money than what I paid for. And I just, you know, really... I, I'll probably just end up getting a larger 3D TV, even though I don't really need one. The one I have is great now, but having a larger one would be nice. Uh, help, help keep that in mind. It's a whole bunch of trash cans. We parked past the power plant. I haven't even finished talking about why I decided to do this. So anyway, uh, as as you can tell, recently less and less movies are coming out in 3D and even less of those movies are coming out on home release in 3d so i was like all right you know i paid all this money for a 3d television if hollywood's not going to do it then why don't i do it you know why don't i buckle down and and make my own 3d content which is what i'm doing here so we're heading down to the uh back end of the pipe walk all these trees and leaves and stuff I think work well with 3D. There's a lot of depth, a lot of layer. 3D have layer, like ogre. And this is also where uh, what's known as Freak Beach is. The water was pretty high and uh, just like a few feet of pipe was covered with water and there was no way I was gonna go on a slip slidey adventure over the rocks. Cause I tell you man, those rocks, Stepping on some of them or like having your like imagine like a block of slippery ice with water cover your feet in lard put them at like like an angle and then on top of that put a whole bunch of rushing water over your feet as you try to walk across it it's uh it's it's impossible and you can there are ways you can try to clear it off you can clear off some of the soot it's not soot but the sand the little fine particles that make it slippery with your foot but then it gets on your foot so when you step down you slip up anyway uh i nearly i nearly ate dirt and died a few times at belle isle because of that because i was walking on the uh rocks which I, I'm not doing that again, man. Forget that. That is like danger city. 
until a lot of people get killed. They slide, they slip on the rocks and they aren't expecting it. About getting to the end of the end of this episode here. The next one will be the pipe walk. We ended up cutting the video off because I was like, well, we, there's no way in hell we're going to be able to get to the pipe that way. We're going to have to walk all the way back around. Ooh. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.